We have got Center for Excellence in Autoimmunity at National Reference Lab, Dr. Lal's Path Lab. Now, ANA, we all know, is the basic screen tool for diagnosing systemic and organ-specific autoimmune disease. In 1940s, we had LE cell, just LE cell, a diagnostic sensitivity of just 40 to 50 percent. And now we have, in 2020 and 21, automation in ANA. It's a cutting-edge technology which not only has revolutionized the, re the quality of reports, we are giving immunofluorescence photographs in our reports. Now, apart from ANA, if a patient is suspected for an autoimmune disorder and the ANA is coming in the dilution of more than or equal to 1 is to 60 by immunofluorescence, we have got specific panels which are available. And extended panels of extractable nuclear antigens comprising of 18 and 23 antigens Apart from screening and diagnosing systemic autoimmune disease, we have got specific panels for organ-specific autoimmune disease like autoimmune liver profile, myositis, neurology, renal and so on, vasculitis, anca vasculitis, very important autoimmune disease. We have got the MPO, the PR3s via ELISA and then PNK and CNK via immunofluorescence. Yes, as per gold standard, the combination of immunofluorescence with ELISA gives a proper diagnosis of NK vasculitis. So these all, all robust platforms are maintained via stringent quality measures. We have got AQUAS from College of American Pathologists, the UK AQUAS and the Euromin AQUAS. So a very good standard throughput, a cutting edge in technology, a good turnaround time, a robust infrastructure comprising of Center for Excellence at Dr. Lars Pathlight. Thank you.